Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I'm gonna give you 10 more tips for new streamers. As usual, we have things to clarify. First thing I want to clarify is that I do say new streamers, but this applies to any type of streamer, even more advanced ones. Second thing I want to clarify is that I already have a bunch of videos when it comes to those kind of tips. I have five tips for small streamers. I have 10 tips for Streamlabs OBS users. I have five reasons why no one is watching a stream. Just check out my channel for those videos. I'll probably like put some things so that you can click on them too. Also quickly before we begin, we have a show called Stream Review where you guys can submit your streams live and I will give you my first impression of them. And I will also give you tips to improve on those first impressions. So make sure you click that subscribe button, ring that bell so you can get notified whenever we're going live. It is a live show. Now without further ado, let's get to those 10 tips. Tip. Number one is introduce yourself. If you guys watch a uh, stream review before, you'll see that I take, I make a big deal out of going from your starting soon screen to streaming. I always say that your own stream is basically like your own TV show and you're the host and there is a proper way of introducing the show to get people really, really hyped. And that is introducing yourself and telling people what's about to go down in the stream and hopes that they will get motivated to continue watching. If you just made regulars wait from 5 to 10 minutes with a starting soon screen with some music in the background, the least you can do is get them something to be hyped about when the starting soon screen is done. And I know you're thinking, what if no one is watching? People are always watching. Um, you can watch, like I, I've talked about this so many times, but like my how to talk to yourself on stream video, I explain why it's important to never stop talking and consider your stream as having a hundred viewers at all times, if not a thousand. Tip number two is use video to advertise your stream. Now I know I need to make a specific video on advertising your stream on social media, but one rule that is kind of general is to know that most social media platform have the autoplay uh, feature and I know some people disable it but most people still have it on and a video can not only capture someone's attention more than a simple picture but on top of that most of the algorithms favor videos over photos if we're talking about facebook for example face the facebook algorithm loves videos so if you're in like twitch groups and you're advertising your stream always upload a video you don't have to rely on audio but video is really important the facebook algorithm will go out of its way to show it to people if you just post your link with a little description facebook will tank it so yeah tip number two has two advantages not only it captures people's attention but it also is very pushed by most social media algorithms especially facebook though. tip number three get your chat involved and i know you're thinking what if no one is watching still do it um let's say you're playing a video game everyone knows this tip oh well if you don't have anything to say just describe what's going on in game that's good that's good that's not bad that's good but something you need to keep in mind is how engaged you want your viewers to be so the tip goes that way say we instead of I. So whether you're playing a video game or you're not playing a video game, whatever you're streaming, whatever actions you're taking and you're describing when you're talking about what you're doing, say we. That will get people engaged and more attached to the stream. If you're playing a game instead of saying, oh, I'm going to go here, I'm trying to win, oh, I got it, I won. If you're saying, we're going to go there, chat, oh, are we going to win? Oh my God, we did it. People feel involved. People feel happy, like the, 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 the emotions that you go through when you're playing the game, chat will also go through them just because you involve them in it. Just because you said we instead of I. Tip number four. Now with most setups, I understand that uh, you guys are using webcams, they're on top of screens, uh, you probably have multiple screens. So most of the time when someone, when you're watching someone play a game on Twitch or, or whatever, they're just looking at the screen when they're looking at chat, they're looking at another screen when they're looking at uh, the gameplay, but they're rarely looking at you. So that's tip number four. Look at the camera. Psychologically, there is a connection when you look at someone in the eyes and, and talk to them. So if you're addressing your chat, 
you can read your chat from the monitor and when you're formulating your response to chat look at them in the eye they will feel more connected to you and and get more engaged with your stream tip number five and this is one that i really wanted to talk about it's remind people to do stuff <laughs> Basically, it's it's what we call the call to action. I made a whole video about begging for stuff and this is very, very different. My video about begging for stuff was mostly about outside of your stream, begging people to come and watch your stream. What I'm talking about here is people that are already invested, that are already here. There is no shame on reminding people their prime sub might be uh, might be due and they can use it on your stream. There's no shame on reminding people that, oh, by the way, if you enjoy what you're watching, um, consider following the stream so you can catch more of my streams. And it's not just for support. You can let people know that, oh, if you want to follow me on social media, you can type in chat. If you want to know uh, how long we've been live, you can type the uptime command. If you want to know how long you've been following me for, you can type the exclamation mark followage in chat basically remind people to do stuff one thing that i really especially for new streamers or small streamers upcoming streamers is clips clips are very very important i made a whole video about it keep on reminding people that if they see something interesting during your stream they should clip it because clips can be the difference between you staying at three viewers and you getting a hundred viewers tip number six is giveaways giveaways are a good way to get a little boost in numbers when you're streaming people love giveaways and i know you're thinking i don't want people to come in my chat for giveaways and then leave after the giveaway is over that's gonna happen there's nothing you can do about that some people will come to your chat and and just here for the giveaway but what you need is people to come through and stay if they like your content no matter what's gonna happen this is a circle like this is this is the circle of life on twitch for example people will always come and watch your stream if you look at your view numbers and your follower number you will see that so many people came to your stream and did not stay and did not decide to follow that's fine but giveaways there are people that are searching for giveaways and you never know maybe you'll find this one person who wants to follow you so if you want to drive traffic to your stream do giveaways now hold up you're thinking i don't have money to throw away in giveaways you can give away anything literally anything like three years ago something that i would do is go on like g2a one of those um steam key websites and buy for like 10 euros i would buy 10 random uh stream keys or game keys sorry so for 10 bucks you could do 10 giveaways of course the games are random and often like let's be real here often those are like small games that no one really care about but people still show up and people are still really really happy to win stuff for free especially when it comes to steam games so usually when doing giveaways anything that is kind of international will do my my favorite thing is really steam keys because you have like global key and it's pretty much international because if you're gonna do amazon gift cards you have to give from specific Amazon uh, marketplaces and they're not all around the world and blah, blah, blah. And it gets very complicated. So gift cards for online products, for digital products are, are the best, in my opinion. Tip number seven is colored lights. Now hear me out. Lighting is very important, but I know that most of you have just a webcam and a regular room in the background, which, make, which doesn't really make you stand out. It's just kind of boring. Everyone has a room, you know, it's, it's not visually appealing to just have bed and, and clothes and, and a chair and, and a door <laughs> so a quick fix to that is literally getting either a clamp light with a colored light bulb or a rgb projector like i have right here okay this is a huge one you don't have to get one that's that huge but this is a cheap 50 watt rgb projector led projector <laughs> but you can get like a 10 watt one for probably like eight dollars and what you would do is just point it at the background if i point this one at the background the background will be colored and be more interesting than if it wasn't obviously my background is already interesting but wait i need to turn off uh, the backlight alexa 
Turn off backlight. And now we get those, uh, some sort of purple background, which is pretty cool. Of course, those come with a remote control and you can like set to effects and stuff. Now we get all sorts of colors. So yeah, you can either get a RGB LED projector or you can get just a cheap light bulb for like two or three dollars. Point it at the background and it will make it it will make your room look colored, which is more interesting than just a random regular room. Tip number eight, interactive games with viewers. So if you already have a couple of regulars or if you want to drive more traffic to your stream, a good way to do that is to play interactive games, basically games where chat will be involved. So it's no longer, hey guys, come watch me play this game. It's, hey, come play with me. So there's a huge list of interactive stream games. You can probably Google it, but uh, the most famous ones are Jackbox, Party, and one that I really, really enjoy is Acted Out XL on Steam. It's, it's amazing. It's so good. It's basically a game where you describe something or you can mime it and people need to find out what you're describing or miming or singing or acting. That's why it's called Act It Out. And the game is actually linked to chat. So if someone types the right answer, it will show up on screen. This is amazing. So games like that will not only strengthen the bond between you and your regulars, it will also bring in new people that are just like scrolling down Twitch, find your stream and they're like, oh, this seems easy, I can play. But on top of that, this will prevent your chat from being dead. <laughs> this will actually light your chat up. And staying with that theme, tip number nine is just chatting. If you watch any big streamer, you'll probably see uh, most of them do exactly that. When they're starting the stream, between the starting soon and when they start the stream, they are actually streaming in the just chatting category. That is you, full screen, talking to your audience. Now remember in one of the tips, was it the first one? The first tip, I basically told you how this part was really important, how you need to introduce yourself and introduce what you're about to do and talk about what happened in the past and all of that. So this will become its own segment in your stream. It's the starting soon screen, just chatting for a couple of minutes, depending on who's here, who's not here. And then finally, you can dive into your stream subject, which is video games or anything else unless you're just gonna stream just chatting for the whole thing but that's fine but yeah you'll see big streamers do this before the stream and after the stream well when i say the stream i mean like the the main goal of the stream the main subject of the stream which is usually video games this really creates a link between you and your chat because a lot of people in chat want that connection. They really want to interact with you. And there's no best way than just sitting here and talking to them directly. And tip number 10, this is going to be a cheesy one, a very cheesy one, is have fun. Just have fun, forehead. Streaming is not easy. Streaming, trying to build a career out of it is really, really not easy. It's actually super hard. So I really don't like to say who should be streaming or who is streaming for or whatever, but try to stream in a way that you don't feel like it's a, it's a chore. Don't wake up and thinking, oh my God, I gotta start the stream. And honestly, this part will be inevitable if you stream regularly, but it's okay to take a break from time to time and not go live. Always put your health as a priority. Whether it's your mental health or your physical health, something I would advise is for, for those people who are really trying to build a career out of streaming, even though it started as a hobby, is to actually get a hobby. Don't, don't consider streaming as a hobby and also a career and only have that. So you're basically working and, and doing your hobby only. Try to get something else going on. For example, when I became a full-time content creator, I got into 3D printing. And, and believe it or not, this has helped me so, so much. Trying to do something that is 100% for pleasure without worrying about the numbers, without worrying about your stats, how well you're doing, if you're proud of yourself or not. So so yeah, you can, you can stream and be successful and not have fun at all, but in the long run, Streaming puts streaming is so tiring that I'm pretty sure it will catch up to you at some point. You're going to burn out. Basically, if you keep doing something that you really don't like over and over and over again, knowing how many hours it takes to maintain a viewership on Twitch, just keep in mind that it's hard to be successful on any streaming platform or any platform on the Internet. 
and don't take things too seriously don't take your stats too seriously don't let uh, the numbers get you down too much keep in mind that it is something that is relatively new and it's somewhat of a privilege to be able to make a living out of playing video games for example or just chatting and just allow yourself to have fun and that was my 10 tips for uh new streamers or for any streamer really i don't know if you guys seen but i released a just cause 4 animated overlay pack i'm gonna put a video up there it's on gumroad.com slash get level for only 99 cents for now the prices might like they may go up so grab them right now while they're dirt cheap literally cheaper than a water bottle i'm gonna put some social media up there you can follow me on twitter at level underscore photo follow me on instagram i need more instagram followers more 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 gel.level that's my handle on instagram obviously you can follow me on twitch to watch my twitch streams which are pretty different than my youtube channel here and if you're not using streamlabs obs yet to stream please consider it i will have a, an affiliate link in the description uh, where i will get a little bit of money if you download it it's it's free for you to download anyways i will see you guys next time thank you so 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 much don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon what is it? What's the thing I say after every video? Oh, get level out.